society or even the law labels them as PWDs or persons with disability. Branded and separate. But a public high school in Antipolo Rizal breaks away from this stereotype. The teachers simply call them students with special needs. And instead of segregating them, they integrate these students with visual impairment to a regular school environment. Ira Brigola is a grade 7 student from San Isidro National High School. Her dream? To be a lawyer someday. As young as she is, she has been through a lot in life, especially when she lost her ability to see. Ira was just 11 years old when she was mistakenly prescribed a strong epilepsy medicine. A violent reaction eventually caused her blindness. Dahil na rin sa suporta ng mga magulang ko, kaya mabilis kong natanggap. Nagtiwala lang ako kay God. Kasi alam ko, lahat ng pinibigay niya may dahilan kung bakit. Despite everything, Ira graduated with honors in elementary. Now, she is striving doubly hard to reach her dreams. Importante po kasi para po sa akin yung pag-aaral po, yung po yung magiging susi para maabot yung mga pangarap ko. She's aware it's not going to be a walk in the park. For she had decided to be in a normal school, integrated with abled students. Sa pagsusulat, medyo hindi ko natatapos kasi kailangan akong diktahan. Tapos may mga ina-explain yung teacher ko, dahil na pag nakadrawing, na hindi ko rin naman nakikita. Doon ako nahihirapan. Pinadidescribe ko dun sa kapatid ko kung anong itsura para malaman ko kung ano yung gagawin ko. Her tough resolve to be a normal student keeps her going. Kapag nasa normal school ka, nararanasan mo yung nararanasan ng mga normal, nararanasan mo makahalabilo sa iba. Coming to terms with her disability was a huge challenge for Ira. Even so, for her mother. Yung po talaga grabe. Bali po yung buhok niya, pangatlong palit na po yan. Ang dinanas niya sobra pong hirap. Iniiyakan po talaga namin ang papa niya kasi ang hirap po tanggapin kasi galing siya sa nakakakita eh. Sabi namin sa kanya, kung anong gusto mo, basta kaya namin ang papa mo, gagawin namin para sa iyo. But to her siblings, Ira is just like any other sister. At the San Isidro National High School in Antipolo, Ira is one of the so-called learners with different needs. Jay is Ira's teacher in the Inclusive Education Program of the Department of Education. In this program, students with disabilities learn side-by-side -side with regular students. There are two teachers in the class to ensure that the learners with different needs are able to keep up with the lessons. Inclusive education is a very good way to have a very, what we call an inclusive community because we're already orienting them and making them aware of how to address these persons with disabilities. Introducing the program to schools was quite a challenge. It is a step-by-step -step process with the ultimate goal of preparing both the learners and the community. The teachers undergo training to be better equipped to handle inclusive education classes. But Teacher Jay is actively campaigning for much more. Our problem, our dilemma before was, if they graduated in elementary, where they will be going for the secondary. So I'm also the one scouting for the tertiary, so that to bridge them to the tertiary level. Like Teacher Jay, Shirley Gammon handles classes with learners with different needs at the Antipolo City SPED Center. This is where the students from the San Isidro National High School get their primary education. 
Similar to the inclusive education program, they have a rigorous process to ensure that the disabled students are ready to be mainstreamed or integrated. For instance, visually impaired students are mixed with hearing impaired as well as regular students. We're still preparing them and to be ready for them too in the mainstream class or full inclusion in San Isidro Elementary School. No matter how tough the job is, teacher Shirley says this is where she finds fulfillment. At the end of the day, I'm so satisfied because I have touched the lives of its children, especially the visually impaired. To better prepare her for the job, teacher Shirley underwent training at Atrive. Living with disability and dedicating your life to helping persons with disability can be extra challenging. But for those who are into it, the life-changing work that they do is more than enough to keep them going. Patunayan nila sa ibang tao na may mararating sila sa buhay nila. Hindi hadlang kapansanan para maabot ang pangarap mo. No one should be denied of education, even blind or visually person. It is not education; is not a privilege. It's a right. Technology can help bring people closer together, young and old, rich and poor, able and with disability. But for the men and women of Atria, patience and determination are key in the pursuit of their advocacy to help the visually impaired see a brighter future. Before we go, remember, Anything, any idea, anybody can be a game changer. Are you?